This is Mr. Sam, and I'm going to teach you how to play the E string and A string concerto. Now, there's a couple things we need to do before we can even play the E string and A string concerto. Um, first, we have to learn the rhythm it uses. And it's this rhythm called Mississippi Stop Stop. Some people call it Mississippi Hot Dog, Taka Taka Stop Stop, Pepperoni Pizza. There's a lot of variations to it. For me, Mississippi Stop Stop. And first off, we have to talk about how the rhythm goes. So I'm going to put my violin and my bow gently down on the floor. And I'm going to put my hands together. And I'm going to say it. Then I'm going to slay it and clap it. Mississippi Stop Stop. Mississippi Stop. Stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Good. If you can do that, you're ready for the next step. Let's grab our bow. <clears throat> Doing all those good bow hold exercises. You're going to relax. Queen is on his throne. Two servants. Princess. Puppy dog. Smiling. Chewing on a bone. Marshmallow. Pillow. Like, good. All right. So now we're gonna go Mississippi stop stop ready. Mississippi stop stop. Mississippi stop stop. Mississippi stop stop. Mississippi stop stop. Notice I'm always going down bow first. So the bow is going downward. It's not going upward. Remember that and you'll be in like Flynn. Okay. Good. And our tip is always pointing towards the ceiling. We don't want to be going Mississippi stop stop because. <laughs> That's not going to help us with bow direction, okay? Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Good. And then, if you want, you can put your bow on your opposite shoulder. So not the one that, not your right shoulder, but your left shoulder where your violin would be. So you go, ready for this? You're going to go out. Your screw is going to go in. Bop me in the nose. And onto your shoulder. Make sure you're kind of in the, the halfway point of your bow. And you're going to make a nice little tunnel here with your other hand, just so it doesn't slide off your shoulder. And you're making a nice little box here. So now we'll say it again. Ready? Mississippi, stop, stop. And you're going to come out to me first. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Now when we do this, the Mississippi is nice and small. It goes Mississippi. And the stop, stop is nice and big. Stop, stop. Tip, middle. Mississippi, stop, stop. Okay, that's called bow distribution. Ooh, fancy. So <clears throat> now I'm going to teach you how to set up with the seven setup steps and the bow. You ready? So first, we're gonna tap over our strings, over our high dot, up and down our magic X. Remember, this is step one. Step two, make a V. Step three, take a step. Marshmallow knees, sway side to side like a tree in the wind. Step four. Swing to your Statue of Liberty. Step five, look at your practice muscle. Your button is facing you. Step six, top your head. Seven, down your head. Shake your head now. Shake your head yes. Do a nice touchdown. Hand over your high dot. Yeah, make sure your hand's not back here. There's no reason for it to be back there. We want to be able to support our instrument as much as we can, especially on these open strings where we don't need our fingers anyways. So, hand over your high dot. And then... With our bow, see I'm holding it, this is the rest position way, your, it's over your index finger, the hair's pointing out towards your audience, and your thumb and your index finger make a nice locking key, that's what I call it, the locking key. And now we're just going to do a little of the gunslinger, you're going to swing it up, and see how my pinky comes right on top, it's not, it's on top of my bow, round pinky, and my draping fingers here, my lazy prince here, and my puppy dog on a silver mat. Smiling and chewing on a bone, right? And once we have our beautiful bow hold, then we're going to go bop me in the nose, whack, onto my, oh, sorry, go to our belly button, bop me in the nose, onto my E string. That just helps us to have a nice uh, box-like start with our elbow to hand to face to shoulder, okay? So we're going to start in the E string first. So I'm going to say it, then we're going to bow it. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Mississippi, stop, stop. Small, 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 small. Big, big. Okay? Tip, middle, if that helps. Good. Now, the E string concerto requires us to play that eight times in a row. 
And that can get tricky because eventually you're going to maybe mess up the rhythm or get lost. So we want to practice see how many times we can do that, that motion, okay? And we want it to feel just so natural and so relaxed. So I'm going to do it with some music. There's a little bit of an intro, so just count with me, and we'll start together. Don't forget, we're going to do that Mississippi Stop Stop eight times. Ready? Go. Mississippi Stop Stop. Mississippi Stop. And that was eight times, and that's the E string concerto. The A string concerto is the same thing. We're gonna, how you get into that, so you're in the E string, you're just gonna rock the bow to your A string. Okay, and try once just on the A string. There you go. So you, you're able to just to play the A string without touching your other strings. Okay, and the A string concerto is just literally eight times. It goes nice intro in the beginning. It's just down the Ready, go. Very nice. All right. I hope that helps and uh, happy practicing.